I've been crying since yesterday, guys. I've been crying in my eyes. This is not fair. Ah! This is not fair. Picking where nothing do. Picking where they healthy. Picking where no sick. Picking where no even get ordinary small headache. Picking! Where nothing they do all of a sudden. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. This is spiritual and this is the only thing I can say. It's the only thing I can say. This woman is going through so much. So much. Ah! This is spiritual. This is spiritual. And God, Jehovah, anybody, anybody, wherever they are spiritually, wherever they are spiritually, ah, God, our God, our God, our God, they, I just want to urge everyone, please, let's pray for me. I've been receiving calls since yesterday. Everybody asking me to speak on this. We are one begin talk. We think I want talk. We think I want talk. Kim Mufeso. It is well. It is well. That's all I can say. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. And God see. Waiting people no see. Waiting people no see. God will do forever see. Thank you guys. Seriously speaking, the death of this boy is a broken heart. Like it's a very sad one. Very unexpected. Like who would have thought? But anyway, a popular blogger, Kitty Juice, made a repost of this incident that happened. And then there is an eyewitness under the comment section who came to make herself known that she's an eyewitness to what happened in the hospital when they took the child to mother and care. And this was a comment she wrote. She said, I heard how the mother was crying uncontrollably at the hospital, shouting, don't do this to me. Not now. Oh God, may God console her. Like this person was actually in the hospital when they brought this child in. But there's another comment. Like, I don't know how people reason these days. Like, I just don't get it. Does people actually live without a heart, without a soul? And then somebody came and wrote under that comment and said, LOL, um, go help her cry more. Whatever stones you have thrown at Judy and her son has backfired on your favorite. On a go cry to eternity, to on a learn how to love and be peaceful with each other. Like seriously, I don't understand. I don't get how people usually reason. Then somebody else wrote and said David married the widow Bishaba, but her first child died as a punishment from God for David's adultery and murder of Uriah. Self acclaimed king David, at you a duche, don't see waiting past Sam. She be in be the drag brag of polygamy. My heart is with me. I have asked God severally to allow why he allowed you to go through many heartbreak this year. And that same person still went under this comment section to say, keep quiet if you have nothing to say. You didn't commit any crime. I mean, you didn't commit any crime in marrying a second wife. Whatever you and your kinds keep wishing for Judy must Keep backfiring you and your favorite. You are fake. Make you are fake loving me. Why keeping trolls at you at Judy and uh, you forgetting these two share some common some things in common. Wise up and stop causing more pains to your so-called favorite. The more you all are wishing evil to you and Judy, the more the evil backfires on your favorite. Like seriously, seriously speaking, this is not a time to throw stones or whatsoever. But see, polygamy is not good. Be it like, say it as it is. It is not good. It is not good. A lot comes out of polygamy. We just still continue praying for me and still praying for the whole family because it's affecting everyone, all of them. May God really comfort and console them. But people should stop commenting like saying bad things like this is it's a human being that just that they lose it's a human being thank you guys for watching please i will i'll see you guys on my next upload bye